Good day to everyone. This is Mama Juan, and in this video, I will be sharing an illustrative problem in our reference book, the Strategic Cost Management book by uh, Mam Cabrera. So you may check the book for other illustrations. And um, again, this video po is about life cycle product life cycle costing. So just a little refresher, in our previous video, I had discussed about the concept of product life cycle. Um, we are used in computing for the product cost, traditionally speaking, um, in our job order and in our process costing that when we accumulate the cost of the product, we simply focus on the cost of production. The materials, the labor, and the overhead. But the product life cycle suggests that in order to see the whole picture, we need to consider the other cost associated with the product from the time it is being developed up to the time it is being sold to the customer. So meaning all the cost from the time of the research and development stage up to the time na may benta na siya, we have to consider it in analyzing the cost of the product so that we can identify what is the best selling price that we can set in order to achieve a higher or the the highest expected profit. Okay? So let me go directly to the problem. So, the company is offering a new product to the market. Um, in terms of research and development, its uh, cost is 400000 For the design and prototyping, it's 800,000 pesos. And the company is expecting that the life of the product, the life cycle of the product is four years. Considering that um, we have other costs, uh, manufacturing, marketing, customer, and distribution costs, we have here the monthly fixed cost and the variable cost. And in terms of identifying the, the prices, yung ia analyze natin and evaluate natin. There are three prices here 150, 180, and 225 with their corresponding um, sales prediction, annual sales prediction, considering the prices. So if you will notice, the higher the price, the lower is the expected um, sales. Because, of course, the idea is uh, the customers tend to buy products that of low um, price. So, in addition to this, uh, additional information shows that if the price of the product is set at 225, which is the highest uh, value here, the company will have to increase certain costs like research and development, prototyping cost, also um, customer service cost, and distribution cost. Well, that um, only suggests that in order for us to, or in order for us to give better product, more unique, um, more features to the customer, it would possibly require additional cost on the end of the customer, on the end of the, of the company. And so, since mas mataas yung magiging cost na may incurred natin, we need to set the price at a higher price also. Right? Um, at the lowest price na mine of 150, the expectation is that the fixed marketing cost will be reduced by 5,000 since uh, it, it won't require more marketing because the price itself, the low price itself, will be the principal selling feature. So, in order for us to understand and analyze this better, so I'll have, I have prepared here the terms that we will be using and we'll just be putting the, the figures here. So for prices, we have three prices, 150 pesos, 
180 pesos and 225 pesos. Okay, for the units sold, we have 80,000 here. We have 60,000 here. And we have 48,000 here. So, simple math, price multiplied by units sold will be our revenues, uh, predicted revenues. So, 150 times um, 80,000, we have 12 million here. Um, we have 10 million 800,000 here, and we have 10 million 800,000 also for 225 pesos. Now, since we are to compute for the life cycle cost for each possible decision, we need to get uh, the research and development cost. So, if you will recall, the research and development cost is 400,000. So, we'll be putting 400,000 here. Same with 180 pesos, uh, 400,000 also. But if the price of the product is 225, an additional uh, 100,000 is needed. So, this will give us 500,000. For the designing and prototype, it is originally at 800,000. So, 800,000 tayo join. Same with 180 pesos. 800,000. But if the price is 225, as mentioned here, there is a need for an increase of 400,000. So, it will give you 1.2 million. Right? So, ibig sabihin lang, when, when you're doing an analysis, you just put the data there. No, the effect of increasing the price, the, the effect of um, additional cost necessary right so for manufacturing cost ko lang ng konti pa for manufacturing cost 25000 is fixed and 20 pesos is variable cost so let's have here 25000 so since that is a monthly figure so the 25000 there will be multiplied by 12 per month but since yung life cycle natin is for 4 years, multiply it by 4. So, wala namang changes sa manufacturing. So, padahas lang yan, 1.2. For the variable, since variable cost yan, it depends or it, it varies depending on the, the level of production or the volume. So, the cost is 20 pesos. Of course, we will multiply it to the volume or level, activity level. So, that's uh, 1.6. That is 1.2 there. And that is um, 1 point, sorry, 1, this will be 20 times um, 48. So, that would be 900. 60. Okay. And then, for the marketing, so yung marketing cost, balikan lang natin, that's 20,000 fixed monthly and then 5 pesos variable. So, marketing, uh-huh, so, marketing natin. Um, since yung atin pong marketing ay bababa ng 5 pesos, kapag ka 150 pesos yung ating, uh, 5,000 rather, 5,000 per month, kapag 150,000, 150 pesos yung ating price level, therefore, sa marketing, at 150 pesos selling price level, Instead of 20,000, 15,000 na lang siya. Right? 15,000, 12 months pa rin, 4 years pa rin. So, you have your 720,000. Right? But for 180 and 225, so, fix pa rin yun na 20,000. 12 months, 4 years. Same is with the 225. For the variable, that's uh, 5 pesos, right? So, yung 5 pesos natin, multiply lang ulit natin sa activity level. Okay? So, that would be 400,000 
this will be 300,000 and this will be 240,000. For the customer service, balikan lang natin, customer service or customer cost is, customer service cost is uh, 300, uh, 3,000 per month and then 8 per variable. Right? So, kung 3,000 per month and 8 per variable, so you have here 3,000, 12 months, 4 years, that's 144,000, same dito. But according to our additional information, the fixed customer service cost would increase by 500 per month kapag ka 225 yung level natin. Thus, that would be 3,500 na sa kanya. 1,500 times 12 times 4 will give us 168,000. For variable customer service cost, um, 8 pesos yun. So, 8 pesos multiplied ulit lang natin ng activity level. So, this will be 640, this will be 480, and this will be 384,000. For the distribution cost, um, that would be 5,000 monthly fixed cost and variable of 15. But according to the problem, variable distribution cost would increase by 5 to improve the customer service at, uh, and I mean to improve the distribution at 225 level. Okay, so you have to consider that. So for customer, for distribution fixed cost, that is 5,000, again, 12 months, 4 years. So, that's 240, 240, pare-parehas lang yun. Pagdating sa variable, 15 pesos siya, at 80,000 um, units, that's 1.2. Um, 15 pesos at 60,000 units, that's 900. Pero pagdating dun sa 225 uh, pesos, selling price, may additional na 5 pesos. Kaya yung variable natin dun, 20 pesos siya. No? That's 15 original plus 5 pesos per unit because of the price na 225. So that's times 12 times 4. Sorry. That's 20, 20 times... Sorry, that's tw 20 times 48,000, rather, because that is variable cost na pala. Okay, so that would be 960,000. So, considering this, if we're going to add all the cost, if we're going to get the total cost, okay, considering the product life cycle, so, of course, the total will be from, from the research and development up to the distribution, actually customer service. So, you have here 7,344,000. Dito sa kabila, 6,624,000. Um, Okay. At dito naman sa kabila, we have 6,812,000. Alright, so that would be the cost, 6,812,000. Now, um, which price will give us the highest expected profit? So, syempre, pag profit tayo, that's a revenue-less um, cost. So, dito tayo, get the revenues, 12 million, minus this one. So, you have 4,656 4, 4, there. Dito sa kabila, 4,176,000 at dito sa kabila, 3,988,000. So, if you're going to look at the, the data, we usually assume that the higher the selling price would lead us to a higher profit. But, although that's correct, no? Um, if you increase your selling price, 
considering the selling price alone, it could give you a higher revenue. Pero, we have to consider again that as you try to increase the price of your product, there is a possible increase also in the cost just to justify the increased price. Kasi hindi tayo pepede na magtataas ng presyo ng product na ino-offer natin without doing without doing something new or unique to the product na ino-offer natin. So, to justify the increase of price, we need to do something on the product that would require additional cost. So, if you're going to look at the end figure, which is the profit, and you consider this uh, data that you have here, all right, so you, of course, the higher the profit, the better. So, considering this, and considering that you will be able to sell a annual units of 80,000, right, average annual uh, annual sales of 80,000, then the price of 150 pesos would be the best choice. Okay, because it will give you a 4,656,000 um, selling pr uh, profit compared to the other two. Right? So, that is how you use the product life cycle costing in coming up with cost information that would probably be used by the management in terms of decision making, in terms of pricing. So, with this alone, they can decide that I'll be pricing the product at 150, targeting an 80,000, at least 80,000 average annual sales. Right, so that would be all for this uh, discussion. And again, you may look at our reference book, uh, Strategic Cost Management by Mam Cabrera, for other illustrative problems. If you have any questions, you can just simply uh, comment or message me for clarifications.